So I just placed a pre-order on the first ever federal government approved flying car. What's going on guys? It's Ricky here with Talk About Solutions and let's not overcomplicate it. Let's jump right into it. This is, this vehicle is from Aleph or Aleph. I actually don't know how to pronounce it. I placed my pre-order today. It's very simple. A uh, very simple way to place your pre-order. It's not expected to come out until 2025, but I wanted to talk about some of the details. The reason that I find this one to be a little bit differently is first off, again, based off of 4th of July, what better way to celebrate the 4th of July with an American made flying car? And I'm not joking. It's actually uh, engineered in California. I think it's San Mateo, California, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I wanted to talk about some of the details. First off, just like any other pre-order, just like the Cybertruck that I pre-ordered, I think back in 2019, they're probably going to delay it five years beyond when the actual expectation was. Because if you actually look back to that 2019, they said that that Cybertruck should be out by 2023. It's now 2023. And guess what? The Cybertruck still isn't here. But this one is expected to come out according to the articles that I've read at the end of 2025. It has a starting price point of $300,000. Now, one thing that I need to talk about right away is that street driving. It is street legal. And what I mean by that, it could be on you know regular parking spaces and regular roads. It is capped based off of the current specs at 35 miles an hour. Extremely slow, right? It does have a driving range of 210 miles, if I'm not mistaken. So pretty much being at 35 miles an hour, my understanding of that is you're probably just trying to get to a point where you can actually take off, fly from there, and from flying, you can actually fly with its flying capabilities for up to 110 miles. So again, the range is not very impressive, but the way that I view this is that if it's FAA approved, it probably is very safe based off of my very slight and my new understanding of the FAA, which is again, government regulated. Uh, they're very strict and they want things to be very, very safe. And for this vehicle to be approved for that and the first vehicle ever in history to be approved uh, that has car capabilities, but also has capabilities to fly, I think that's quite impressive. It's a step in the right direction. It's not where I think obviously everyone wants us to be, uh, but we have to start somewhere. And that's the way that I look at this in a proactive way, right? Um, looking a little bit more into it, the different specs that I've seen of this, this entire like honeycomb, do you guys see this? Kind of like mold of the vehicle. First off, let me know in the comment section. This kind of looks like a Tesla Model 3, uh, and they call it the Aleph Model A. Um, this whole honeycomb is pretty much hollow, and then it has four fans, pretty much like a drone, inside this, and it's actually this cockpit. So the way that I view this is that this is pretty much like a helicopter, the, the, the little like uh, fly-looking thing of a helicopter, right, the little cone, and then everything around it is pretty much just for it to hold the four wheels, and then within that are the actual four fans, and I believe that it's the honeycomb, of course, to, for it to be extra light. My understanding of why it only goes 35 miles an hour and only has a range of 200 miles is probably because it has a very small battery um, for it to be a little bit lighter because batteries are, you know, uh, pretty heavy, right? The Tesla Model X Plaid is notorious for being over 6,000 uh, pounds, right? Um, it only carries up to two people, according to the current specs of this vehicle, um, and it is 100% electric. I think it's a step in the right direction. Again, the deposit that you have to put down to order or pre-order one of these vehicles is literally the same dollar amount that when you had to order a Tesla Cybertruck, right? It's literally nothing, right? Uh, they do have a more expensive option, um, but it's, you know, I want to learn more about it. I actually reached out to them. So this is a lot. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I do have an affiliate link uh, just because when you place a pre-order, they give you an affiliate link. So it's going to be linked down in the description or in the comment section. If you want to check it out, you don't have to place your pre-order. I really don't care. Um, I reached out to them because I want to stay up to date. I think it would be really cool, at least for the people that follow me. And I'm, I mean, I'm going to be selfish. It'd be really cool for me, right? I'm someone that's really getting into um, you know, flying. I'm working on my private pilot license, right? And this would be something where I feel like not only 
Does it kind of hint on the idea of it possibly going public, publicly traded, right? It's trying to gain exposure, right, with all these pre-orders. Um, and I hope that they agree to allowing me to kind of like um, be there for maybe one of their flight tests so I can kind of showcase the vehicle. I think it would be an awesome, awesome experience, not just for myself, but to also be able to showcase it to all of you guys and maybe some people that might be interested in placing the order. Obviously, the $300,000 price tag is pretty expensive when you think about a vehicle, but I mean, I have... Uh, uh, two vehicles right now that are over three hundred thousand dollars, right? So if one actually ends up flying and it's safe, uh, and it's a safe form of you know transportation, at that point, if I do have my private pilot license by then, um, you know it'd be an amazing way for me to be able to have it parked in my house and then drive a little bit and be able to fly from there. Um, again, we all have to start somewhere. I just wanted to share this with you guys. I found the story to be pretty interesting. Again, three hundred thousand dollars is the starting price. It's one hundred percent electric, has a range of up to one hundred and ten miles flying, two hundred miles when it comes down to driving, and a max speed on the road of thirty-five miles an hour. Um, I've watched a couple of the renders of the video. I haven't actually seen a video of the vehicle actually flying. So that's personally what I would really love to be a part of is anytime that they you know, expect to do one of their flight tests, how cool would it be uh, for me to be able to go there and maybe take you know, uh, one of our LPP members or something like that uh, along with me. I can fly in there with my private jet because um, they're in San Mateo, California. Fly in there, you know, be able to provide experience not only for myself, but of course for some of our LPP members. I think it'd be an amazing experience. You guys let me know down in the comment section. But again, I was kind of just geeking out about this after I heard the news of this. Um, but you let me know down in the comment section. If I learn anything more about it being publicly traded, I'll keep you guys up to date. If I actually, if I actually hear back from them, uh, then again, I'll keep you guys up to date on you know how and um, you know what it is that we're setting up uh, to potentially showcase that um, you know a, a lift. Um, vehicle. So I really do appreciate you guys' time. I hope and wish you guys an amazing and safe 4th of July. I do want to remind you, I will be trading live tomorrow as I do every single day at Market Open. And if you want the ability to watch me trade live for 4th of July, we are running our biggest sale. It's a one-time payment, lifetime access. And yes, it is $175 off. And it's the second link in the description down below. If you have any questions before joining, feel free to send me a direct message via Discord or via Instagram. And that's the first or third link in the description down below. I do want to remind you, I am verified both on YouTube, Instagram, and and Twitter. Those are my only accounts. No verified account should ever, no non-verified account should ever be messaging you pretending to be me. There's so many accounts out there. I don't trade for other people. I never ask for money. The only thing that I offer is to be able to watch me trade live every day. And that's the second link in the description down below. Appreciate your time. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy team.